At this point in our series, we have to start working every single week on the dog. It's really important that you work every week and at least once a week. Uh, it, it wouldn't hurt to work twice a week. Um, you can break your work up into smaller pieces that way. But uh, it's absolutely important that you roll that coat and roll the flat work every single week. You're going to need to work hard on the loin, on the top of the loin, and in front of the tail. Uh, and hair grows a little faster there, and you're going to need to work harder at it. You're also going to need to work very hard at your blend area in the neck, um, because if you don't get those two um, blending well and keep them that way, it gets out of control and you've lost it all. You also have to make sure that you continue to pull in the longer hair spaces. Sometimes you'll grow a little more hair in a particular spot because they, they, they're a little bit low there or, or you've got a skin roll or something like that. But people think you just grow hair there and forget about it. The problem is if you do that, you've got nothing coming underneath that to replace it when that gets too long, so you must work on it. And what you really want to do is build up layers of hair. Short hair laying on top of a little bit longer hair, laying on top of a little bit longer hair, that sort of thing, so that you build this up and get a real thick, rolling situation going on. So you're gonna to have to do that. You'll notice that I push the skin forward or pull the skin forward to make the skin taut so that it's easier to pull. The hair. This uh, is something that you really need to learn how to do. You have to be careful because when you push the skin forward suddenly the spot you're trying to pull hair out of is forward also. So do not pull the skin forward and then trim in the hole because when you let the skin go then the hole goes in a different place. So make sure to track where you actually want to groom and then pull the skin forward and trim in that area. People think that you color your dog because your dog is, uh, you know, not a, the right color. But in Irish Terriers, Irish Terriers come in Wheaton, Red Wheaton, and Red. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much how dark they are or how um, light they are. But what does matter is the Irish Terrier hair is at the tip red, and as you go down the shaft, it gets less color in it. Therefore, when you work in a particular spot, it will show because the color will show. So you color those spots to even it all out, not because you're trying to disguise your dog as being darker than it is but simply that you don't want to show the spots where you're, color, where you're working extra hard. You want that all to flow together as one piece. 